Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a two deck review. First one being the Bluebird Lenormand, and the second one being the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Playing Cards, which is also stylized somewhat like Lenormand. And I'll kind of explain the differences. I kind of use the Bluebird Lenormand sort of as a more light side clarifier. Um, sometimes I'll actually do, you know, an actual spread with it for myself or for others. And Gypsy Witch is more, it's got more darker cards, more nefariousness going on with it. So you get a good balance between the two. They're not expensive decks. I think I got each one for $7 each. Um, they're pocket size. They're easy to travel with. You can also use the playing card um, suits on them, just like you would Tarot. So... It's not just the actual wording on the cards or the images. You also have that as well for identifiers. It's a pretty... two. These two decks are pretty good for that. Um, I kind of freestyle them because, you know, you could do um, their old school layouts, which, you know, can include a majority of the deck if you like, <laughs> or partial, and there's different ways to do it. There's tons of suggestions online about that. But there's so many different ways you can apply these decks. It just takes a bit of getting used to for some. Um, it is definitely an acquired taste. But after a while, you kind of, you know, you can figure out a way to make it work, you know. So just the differences between these two. The Bluebird has 36 cards. And the Gypsy Witch has 52. Now, both decks have all the queens and the kings in the deck, Okay. Uh, the blue bird, however, doesn't have any knights, but it does have pages. And the gypsy witch has all the knights, but no pages. Um, the blue bird also has two ladies and two gentlemen, whereas the gypsy witch only has one of each. Okay, um, And that's just an image on the card itself. Um, the gypsy witch does have all ace through ten of the suits. Um, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. Uh, clubs can be wands, and diamonds are pentacles, hearts are cups, and spades are swords. So that's an easy translation there. Uh, Bluebird, however, has like six or seven of each of the suits. Um, and I know there's a historical reason for that. It had to apply to something. I know they had to combine these decks to basically not only hide them amongst the religious status quo of the time in the 17 and 1800s, respectively, um, but they also catered them to middle and upper classes, and it also depends on what country that they use these decks in as well. So, and I think they also had, like, production issues, you know, so, you know, it was very limited. There might have been some rationing going on. I know there was a, a myriad of issues depending on where... And I'm sure there's a lot more history to that. But it's fascinating to, to learn about all the variables involved in that. Depending on which countries they all spread through, <laughs> how they got around. Alright, so I'll start with the Bluebird and Lenormand. There's 38 cards. I said 36, huh? Maybe that means something for somebody. <laughs> Alright. Bluebird... Oh yeah, that's right. They have jokers in each of the cards. So two of the cards are jokers in that deck. And Gypsy Witch, I think, has three jokers. And you can apply those as some of the majors, if you like. Bluebird has this little book, which does have, you know, a little snippet about each card, you know, throughout. And I do believe it does... No, it has some history about Lenormand in here as well. Mademoiselle Lenormand. Um... This particular deck, I don't think, has spreads in it. Yeah, it doesn't. I know others do, though. So, And I ordered them the number of the actual deck itself. So, let's see. We have Cavalier, which is the Nine of Cups. And you can see it has a little limericky. It's actually kind of fun. Um, and sometimes I actually just get a keyword out of it to explain something or to identify something as well. So, you know, it'd be good news, right? It would be on this card, good cheer, that's another one. Um, sadness, but it'll go away. You know, just various concepts like that. Okay, two, Clover, Six of Pentacles. 
Here's your Ten of Swords. Three, Ship. Your King of Cups, House, number four. Okay. Five, Tree. King of Wands, Clouds. Snake, number seven. Coffin. There we go. Birch Rod. Yeah, the last one was Scythe. Birds. Child. Fox. Bear. Stars. Focus, please. There you go. Stork. Dog. Let me actually move this forward. That way I'll see it better. Tower. Garden. Mountain. Crossroad. Mice. Heart. Ring. Book. Letter. That's one of the gentlemen. There's another gentleman. Here's another lady. And another lady. Lilies. Sun. Moon. Anchor. Key. Fish. And cross. Okay. That was a bit of a mess. Now, Gypsy Witch. They do have this little mini booklet that does have some reading suggestions in it as well. They can get a little complex. So I just kind of treat it a little more simply than that. Eventually, I'll really get into it <laughs> at some point. <laughs> But I do like combining it with other cards. So we're actually going to go in reverse order now. We have the Shepherd. We have the Lion. Now with this deck, there are also numbers that reference to other cards depending on their placement in the layout as well that change the story as well. So it's an interesting way to kind of work with it. And we'll come across a couple of those. The bear. The eye. The money safe. The bride. The railroad. And see, that one says forecast a long journey. If near number 44, it's a serious accident. If near 29, a robbery. The order. Broken glass. Lightning. Amor. Roses. Wine. The heart. Flames. Rapiers. 
the cat, the tower, the star, the clover, the mountains, the roads, the rod, the mouse, the anchor, the dog, the park, clouds, hand in hand, the ring, the book, the stork, the lilies, the gentleman, the lady, the fish, the ship, the letter, the writer, the snake, children, the fox, the pig, the birds, the scythe, the bouquet of flowers, the coffin, the tree, the key, the house, the moon, and the sun. There you go, guys. Have a good one.